What up YouTube, Doug here, TWT Bulls, Thursday video, here is Big Daddy Zeus, he's here visiting, so had to show him off, he hasn't been on the channel in a while, 60 years old, massive beast, Big Daddy Zeus, and a lot of you guys ask, you know, where's this dog, where's that dog, but uh, what you have to understand is one of the differentiators that I feel sets us apart from other programs is all our bullies live as house dogs, every single one is house trained, sleeps in a house at night, and lives as a house dog. So because of that, we keep a lot of our females and studs spread out among family and close friends. So they're all part of our program, but they're all living with family and close friends. So a lot of time, if they're not with me or at my house or at my parents' house, I don't get as much video of them. But here's Big Zeus, you guys know, he lives with my sister-in-law, Jana, and her up and coming little female Frenchie, Frida. Uh, but he's here with me this week. I'm watching him uh, while she's away. So I wanted to show him, show he's doing great. He's a uh, man, he's just such a beast. When you haven't seen him in a while and then you see him, his head, it just so stands out. I'm, it's funny, man. Everywhere we go, whether it be uh, like an ABKC show, an exotic show, whatever kind of show you take him to or meet and greet or get together, there's just, honestly, I've never seen a stud whose head even compares to Big Daddy Zeus, so it's awesome. We love having him as part of the fam and part of the program. And uh, we always joke now, because Mounty, our new French Bulldog stud, has such a huge head. We're like, man, we love studs with big heads. But uh, here's Zeus, I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. And I want to get you some of our upcoming uh, French Bulldogs playing, because these Frenchy puppies have so much energy and play so funny. So let me get you some of that now. All right, here we are out with the Frenchie puppies. You guys see Bunny and Frida going at it, these two girls. <laughs> and look at Diego's out here too, Roman. But look at these girls play. I love watching them play. It's kind of crazy in the span of 10 years how we went from German Shepherds to American Pit Bull Terriers to Standard and uh, Classic American Bullies to Pocket American Bullies to now doing... Uh, micro exotic bullies and these little mini french bulldogs it's hilarious but uh look how muscled up they are big heads i love watching bunny and free to play and i'm real excited because both of them you know being a blue sable and a blue fawn i know with diego being the lilac fawn merle when we breed them together we'll get some nice blue blue merles which i love i really love come here diego come here come here buddy come here here he comes he's avoiding those two girls <laughs> It's crazy how like silky soft and smooth his coat is. It really is. You have to feel it. Up oh, here they go. Where are they going? That's funny. They're like little, like little bunny rabbits with their ears up. They see the big dogs behind the fence and they want to get back there. There's Bunny. Diego, come on, Frida, come on. Look at the little Frenchy puppy party. Frenchy's playing. Sometimes uh, Frida and Bunny will really wrestle and it's real entertaining. That's what I'm trying to get them to do. There's Lexi. Hopefully she's pregnant, guys. We'll keep you updated. We will keep you updated. On day 30, we'll go get the sonogram. Come on, guys. Frida, Bunny, come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Diego, come on. Look at these two girls. Really energetic. Really energetic. Really good natured. Come on, guys. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. They're funny. Bunny, come on, Bunny. <laughs> I love Bunny's big head and short back. It's really funny. Check them out. Check them out. There's Frida. Here comes Diego. So he is now five, coming up on five and a half months. Growing fast. My dad had to go take Big Legend off because he's running too much out here in the heat. Big legend, stay tuned. Real soon, we're gonna have some crazy legend pups to show you guys. Uh, Champ's mom's sister down in Florida had eight puppies. We're getting a pup back off it. And on Saturday the 29th, we're gonna show all the pups on the channel. So we have legend pups to show off real soon. And I know, I know the bloodline behind the mom and you know, legend how he produces. There's some real massive, massive mini bulls. And like every legend litter, there's one tiny little micro in the litter. So seven pups, massive with full tails, and then one little no-tail, tiny little micro. It seems to be like that in most legend litters. 
But they're just trying to get back here with the other dogs. Usually Frida and Bunny will really play when they're together. What's up, Bunny? But there they are, the little up and coming, the up and coming Frenchies. Yeah, he's got a lot of bone, a lot of body, a short back for a five month old pup. I can't wait to see how Diego turns out. Look, here they are. Now they're going to go at it. I'm telling you, these girls, they will go at it. It's funny watching the. I love watching the puppies wrestle and play. And they teach each other boundaries. If one gets a little too rough, the other will correct it. It is really funny to watch. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. Now they're going at it. These two little girls. So they're not related. Uh, Frida here is our blue sable with tan points. And Bunny here is our blue fawn. But they both, they both carried that blue, which was what I really wanted to match up with Diego, our lilac fawn Merle. So it's awesome with the Frenchies when you get into the genetics. So every non-Merle female that you breed to Diego, you'll get half Merles. And depending on what your female carries, you can get fawn Merles, chocolate Merles, blue Merles, lilac Merles. So half your litter will typically be Merles. And then depending on, you know, the females, you could get some blues, some... Uh, chocolates some fawns some blue fawns so uh it's interesting when you study the color genetics we're real excited about it push up girls <laughs> look at these girls so i really want to keep some some real nice blue merle and chocolate merle females off diego and keep them for our up and coming massive headed stud um mounty you know what i'm saying that would be perfect to me perfect breedings so if you have a Merle Frenchie and you want to breed to Mountie, I've had a couple people lock that beast with the big head in. Uh, you can text or call 678-447-7908. Uh, Mountie with that chocolate brindle and massive head piece. His, uh, I've had a lot of people want to lock him in just on the head piece and the muscular rear alone. <laughs> Look at these two. At least they'll sleep tonight, right? A good puppy's a tired puppy. Well, Bunny's wearing my dad out. How much would you say? A lot more energy than the exotic bully pups? A little more energy, that's for a sure. A little, little more energy than... Uh, touch them. Too short and yeah, fast. and they're so short and fast. I'll, I'll come to visit and I'll see my dad running around under the deck and I'm like, what is he doing? And sure enough, he's chasing Bunny, trying to get her to come in. It's pretty classic. But the good thing is when you do lift them up, they're lightweight. Uh, with the bullies like I've thrown my back out many times putting big Zeus and legend into the truck into like the back seat yeah, So the lightweight helps, but they are a lot harder to catch and they have a lot more their energy lasts a lot longer Like bully puppies of this age would already be laying around in this heat But these girls will just keep on at it. I would say Diego is very chill for a Frenchie though yeah. He's very chill for a Frenchie seems like the boys might be a little calmer than the girls what I've noticed so far but we're enjoying them we're having fun with them I can't wait to see how they interact with uh, Lexi's puppies and Lexi has puppies that'll be funny so, all right guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing stay tuned these next couple weeks legend like I said has had a lot of different breedings and litters drop so in the next two weeks I'm really gonna try to get a lot of legend puppies on the channel uh, so stay tuned stay tuned Again, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next one.